right people here we are in the last day of tank life it's move out day so here i am it's me eco chick and the little swim up fry and seymour and snarky and front of frog and this is an example of the phases that we've watched here in our hatchery style salmon red we have 53 degrees in our tank and it's really warm in the room today at 68 degrees so I really want to get these little ones out into the big big wild and the big big water over there at Alton Baker Park so yeah we did lose a few overnight I kind of figured that was gonna happen um, only about six so yeah we have around 53 and they're looking really good and they're really ready to go out and eat and hunt and just be their wild selves out in the wild. So yeah, I'm gonna um, make another video in a little while of the actual move out process. If you're interested, you could check into that one. But for this one right now, it's just a final look of notices and wonders. I'll take you a little bit closer in a second and just kind of a recap of what we've been through in this tank life experience together. And a few wishes from some really sweet first, second, and third graders at family school that sent me some wishes to read to um, the little fish. So I'm gonna read those in a minute too. And we'll take one last look at the data chart. So let me just bring you in a little bit closer and let's take a look. What are you noticing today? Let me zoom in a little bit. What do you notice about the little ones? <laughs> what are you wondering about? If you were going to give a wish or just a I don't know, words of encouragement to these little ones, what would you say to them? You could say it right now. Because they can feel your positive energy even across town and even through the cyber world, believe it or not. <laughs> so it's sure been fun sharing this experience with you all and um yeah i hope you've learned some things and you know what think right now what's something that maybe you learned or you noticed or wondered along the way that you know is going to stick with you because when we learn about things if we really are learning and caring about it something will stick out but we have to maybe identify it <laughs> so, yeah, I'm noticing that these little ones are ready. They are buttoned up, they're swimming up, their camouflage is in place, they are strong and swimmy, and the temperature units are right, and so that tells me they are ready for release. Yeah. So it's been a real pleasure sharing this virtual salmon experience with you and um, yeah I'm hoping to do it in the real like real life with real tanks out in classrooms next year but um, yeah it's been a really fun experience to share with you and these little ones are ready so this has acted as a mini hatchery these are hatchery eggs, as a reminder. And so they don't have their adipose fin uh, clipped. And so when they come back, if uh, when and if, if some of them come back, maybe at least one will make it back with all the odds that the way they are, um, it'll be hard to tell if it's a wild one or not because it will have an adipose fin. If you remember, that's something that happens in the hatchery so that they can tell a wild fish from a hatchery fish and they do that procedure usually right now at this phase so yeah and typically at the hatchery they will stay a little bit longer and then re be released but we 
Um, for our classroom work, this is the stage we release at because we will not be feeding them. And at the hatchery, they do feed them. And so that's an important difference. And so I'm just gonna take you up top and give you the bird's eye view. Do you, what do you notice up here? What do they look like? How are they moving? Yeah, if there was a ruler, you would be able to see they're about an inch and a half long. We can't see their egg sacs from the top at all anymore. And so yeah, they're ready. So these are the phases. We started at the eyed egg stage. We watched them develop into the alvin stage, into the last stage, which was sac fry. And today, they are officially, for real, swim up fry. And that means that they're ready to hunt and eat and yeah, get on with their lives away from this tank life experience. So again, just one last look at our data chart. It's the 7th of December. We lost about six overnight. We're releasing about 53 little swim up fry or what they're called or fry. It's 53 degrees in the tank. That's been the constant the whole time. 1,561 temperature units total with that 21 overnight. As I mentioned, it's move out day. They're buttoned up, they're swimming up, they're camouflaged in place, they're strong and swimming, they're ready to be released. And these are my little last diagrams, um, you know, showing their spots and their little lateral line. This is the underneath side and that teeny tiny slit there is gonna close up the rest of the way here, probably, you know, even by tomorrow for them. So yeah, so I'm gonna bring you back over and give you another look and while you're watching, I'm going to read some of the wishes from our friends at family school. So, dear fish, I hope you have a great life in the ocean. And I'm not going to be reading names, by the way. Sorry, friends. Dear little fish, you can do it. I love you. Fish can do it. You are the best. I hope you have the best day ever and you can do another film. Dear little fish, I wish you good luck. Dear fish fry, I liked watching you in your tank. I hope you all survive. Dear little fry, I hope you be safe, have a good journey. I don't hope you die. Good luck. Have fun. Be your best. Be nice to other fry and fish. Dear baby salmon, I hope you will be safe and well when you enter the river. I hope that you will survive all the predators who might eat you. I hope that you have a fun time in the ocean. Finally, I hope that you lay your own salmon eggs. Dear Fry, goodbye. I hope you had a good time, have a good time at the river. Dear little fish fry, I hope you don't get eaten. Dear little salmon fry, I love you. You can do anything. Oh, they look so happy listening to these wishes. Dear little fry, have a safe journey. Dear salmon, I hope you will have the greatest time of your life. I love you so much. And I hope you have a safe journey, salmon. Dear little fry, I like you. Fry are real cool. Fry are the best fish in the river. I hope you have a good life. I hope the water is warm. Hello fishies. I hope you guys live lots of years so you can meet, meet more salmon. You guys can do it. Hopefully you will get gifts from Santa. Well, see you later. Dear little fry, I wish you don't go but goodbye good luck out there i i
care and sometimes it's hard and the world gets keeps getting harder and harder so go figure the end and that's the end of our fish wishes from our friends at family school so again I am just really thankful for you sharing this experience. Look for a few more videos after the release um, video. I am going to make a, a couple of follow-ups uh, with some tips and um, ideas and maybe even some art. I'm not sure yet, but some things that will keep you connected to salmon and hopefully some of the things that you can do as a human on planet Earth, the planet that we all share, that you can actually do to help the salmon. And some really, it's like a super simple one you can do everywhere you go. In fact, I encourage you to do this for the rest of your life. That's all, just the rest of your life. Pick up trash. If it's not super yucky, just, you know, if it's a wrapper or something, pick it up and put it in your pocket. You can, you know, arch trash, even though that might be, you know, your personal trash, all of our trash on the planet is all of our trash and it's gonna continue to be here and we got to keep it out of the waterways so if that's really just like the number one today you could start it just pick up litter and you know if it's something super yucky or whatever you're gonna probably want to wear gloves and you know whatever report it to someone at school if it's something super yucky but anyway just a little tip and um, again I've enjoyed sharing this experience with you and this is Eco Chick signing out from Tank Life Experience 2020. Have a wonderful whatever you do.